You can go first. Look at the building looks like planting. <laughs> We're about to go on this treetop ropes course here called Go Ape. That thing looks so amazing. It's roughly 90 degrees and humidity is like Florida. I know that's for the campers, but I just want to turn around and run to the top. I think I can get at least one slide before I get tackled or kicked out. So my sister just texted me because she saw this on my shoulder in my Instagram story and she's like, did you get another tattoo? And I was like, what? And she goes, did you get another tattoo? And I'm like, why? No. She goes, because of the the bandage on your on your shoulder and I was like oh, god. oh I don't think we show I go, that I go oh god this is terrible I go real signs of old age I said it's an icy hot patch <laughs> I was like I'm not cool enough anymore just to have pat or bandages on me that uh, are covering up tattoos so. nope old lady patches yeah. putting on your pants Stephanie. you didn't put your like through oh. the hole <laughs> I just started falling off the thing thank you so much Allie. Don't want to fall on camera. Or do you? Yeah, don't wear them like your pants, Trent. <laughs> well, sorry. Sorry about that, internet. <laughs> don't fall. I don't think the insurance check went through. <laughs> it's your little pulley. That was also a really cool band. If you like Pennywise, back in the day. And then you slide down. Oh, you're, you're walking. You're walking. That's cheating. If this can't hold you now, I'm a little afraid later. Unfortunately, there's a slight delay with the zip line due to weather. Obviously, for safety reasons, we can't go out when it's thundering because usually thundering results in lightning or on trees that are filled with metal. Our bodies are filled with metal. Bad combo and being really high in the air. But we're hoping that this little, little storm that's out here subsides relatively quick. But look at that, that's cool. She was like flying right across the water. No, there's not. It's an airplane. Stupid rain. Kind of having an issue right now. Having to wait it out. So this is Shelby. Oh, it says Shelby County, but I think it's called Shelby Farms. It's kind of like how Lakewood Ranch is Lakewood Ranch, as a it was a, a ranch and then turned into a giant mini city. That's where the zip line is. And that's where the better weather is. Zip line, better weather. I think we already said we have to wait 30 minutes. Every time every thunder. Every time it thunder. So right now we're just like, let's just go get food. Oh, oh. There's the ride for today. Oh, woo! Off Roden. Obviously, it's raining. We're gonna go try to find some other cool stuff to go, go see. I mean, there's a ton of cool stuff. We wanna go try something else, and then maybe tomorrow try to get go a little earlier before this comes. Hopefully, not tomorrow. Cool thing, we've met a lot of CTFX steers today, though. Yeah, that was actually kind of funny. Like we we were just at the Go A place, and then a couple of guys <laughs> found us from the Instagram stories, which we told you guys to follow. This is all owned by Shelby Farms. Fun fact, his name is David Shelby. He got his uh, start uh, by randomly winning this in a bet. And really? Yeah, he got the deed, and that's how he got it. And uh, good old Mr. Shelby. That is very, very cool. I'm just <laughs> movie. <laughs> really? Yeah. I have no idea who owns this. Oh my god, I was that convincing? Well, at first not, and then you were like, yeah, and I believed, fuck, why would I believe my husband? Allie came prepared. What's so funny is we got this umbrella because it was raining so bad. Briefly. It was raining so bad, and we're like, okay, it's on sale, I need an umbrella. And it's just so awkward being in a clear umbrella. <laughs> You're like a bubble boy. Very, very hard to walk under an umbrella. Plus, we got all the cameras. That's why I'm trying to keep protected. <laughs> But the camera's like completely out of the, in the water right now. Sacrificing for the vlog. Do it for the vlogs. Do this, it's the most awkward like angle ever. This is good guys. We are going to head out and have some Memphis barbecue. Things didn't like plan out as we thought they would today. We were gonna do the whole zip line thing. Weather said this. So we're gonna go to this place called Central Barbecue, which apparently is phenomenal. Do that and then tonight, I'm looking forward to this so much because you guys know how much I love scary things we're going to a haunted bar well we're going to like a haunted place i should just say but actually i read up on it and it seems pretty pretty crazy the guy who ended up buying it i don't know if he is the guy who ended up buying it was not a believer at all of david the, shelby i'm an idiot he ended up living i don't know if he lived in the bottom part of the where he lived but he lived within the bar and he said after a couple of years living there he noticed that there was a lot of paranormal activity the individual that we're working with who's like helping us find really cool places around here told us that people witness it all the time every single person in the comments and 
while actually here he said to go to a place called Central Barbecue. Apparently it's like one of the best places. They said there's a huge argument on this being one of the best places. And I guess we came at the right time because there's no line or anything. <laughs> Dry neck. Is it wet? And our food is here. Oh my god. It's so freaking good. That looks incredible. Take a bite first. Supposedly the best place in Memphis to get barbecue. Glorious, babe. You can't look elegant in that. How is it? Yeah, right there. No, it's over there now. Which one did you get? Hot or the mild? I just tried whatever this one was. Mild. Potato salad is the bomb. Mac and cheese, the bomb. Allie keeps bringing back the bomb. I don't care. It's so good. Okay. They win. They win. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little tipsy on this one. Don't worry. Taking good care of them. That's a little bit. A little tiny. Un poco. That means a little, right? In Spanish? This is crazy. We're right next to it. It's the Lorraine Motel. This is actually the motel where Martin Luther King, right over there on that balcony, was shot. Very eerie. You know what's something that I just noticed? Why on the ground floor are the rooms two and the second floor three? I just noticed that and that's one of those things I noticed. I always notice the like really weird things. There's the hotel sign. History. Horrible, 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 shouldn't happen history. But it's actually kind of cool that they preserved everything like this. So that's Mulberry Street or Berry Street and I can't, can't figure out if it was, apparently the shooter was in that building or the one behind it and shot across that street into that corner. So f***ed up. Such a weird feeling. It was really kind of strange, and this is kind of maybe me being ignorant. People like coming and smiling and taking photos in front of this place. I, I, I don't know. It's probably maybe. a lot of younger people because they, they don't understand, or maybe they, they don't right. realize that this isn't like, oh my god, I'm at a famous spot. It's more like, oh my god. Yeah. I'm at a, I'm at a place where a super pivotal moment in history happened that is so detrimental to so many people. I don't know if it's that much different from what we're doing right now, though, I know. at the same time, I know. but no, I just, I, I think... I'm not looking down on anybody. No, definitely like, not. I never I, smile at them that I always, like, I just, when something tragic occurs, it's like, I can't... But I get it. I get, I, it, I get it, too. The reason why we're showing it, in my personal, this is my reasoning for showing it, is to show you guys who probably have never come here or didn't even know this place still existed, and I feel like that's... I don't want to say that's our job as vloggers, but that's kind of my personal view as what I was always wanting to do as a vlogger, is go around, see places around the world, show people that probably will never see something or didn't know existed, and just kind of have this cool conversation about it. And again, we're not like make, saying anything cool, it's just, to me, it's just an interesting reaction to such a place. It's opinions, you know, everyone's got their own opinion, and. Ours could be completely wrong. And no, we could be a bunch of doofuses. We could, be, we could be a bunch of little prudes right now, but I mean, that's just prudes. everyone's prudes. A bunch of prunes too, you know, prunes. you eat them and then you have to poop. Prunes. So this is a supposed haunted bar. We kept saying Ernstein's, but it's Arnestein. Can you drive golf carts around here? Yep, if he's doing it, you do it. So apparently the thing is like, when you come here, it, it put, it was, I don't think that was playing when we walked in, so it's like one of those things where it, it supposedly picks a song. A oh, it used to be a brothel too? Yeah, it used to be a brothel, and people have said that the jukebox uh, will play. Will play like based on when you found a place where you're from and hi, how are you? How are you? What Ali was saying is that sometimes when people come in, like the jukebox will start playing like songs Watch that kind of like, like, I don't know, like represent you or something like that. And like that wasn't playing, it sounds so creepy. But I swear, that song was not playing and then we walk in and love and marriage, we just got married, starts playing. Or go upstairs. I don't know, but they said that we can go walk around. No dope smoking, no cursing, no free loading. You can go first. Look at the building, it looks like slanting. <laughs> How's it going? Good. So this is where the brothel probably was. Will you wash up? I 
I wonder how much asbestos and red lead paint is in here. Bah! Am I going that door? Oh, it's the bar. <laughs> now I feel like a horse's ass. It is actually Ernstine. This place is so cool. Can you? Thanks so much, guys. Like, why are these locked? Oh, it's so eerie. <laughs> is that an old fireplace? I think the creepy factor is just going up right now. I think it's kind of like blowing me away is because I'm to think about like... What was in here? What was in here, yeah. What happened in these, these things? Like so, yeah. this room and this, what's going on in this The history? Room. There's definitely a very creepy and eerie feeling that comes from this place. Like some of these rooms are locked, but like we told you guys, this is an old brothel and now it's a... That was cool. Now it <laughs> is a, um, it's a bar, but like there's bathrooms and all these creepy doors and it kind of makes you wonder like why certain areas are all blocked off. Walking through here, maybe it's because there's like over here right now, but I kind of feel the hair on my neck like... A couple CDMX years came in here around the corner and kind of, it, it scared me a little bit. Like, hello? <laughs> okay, you know what this is? Look at this old lead refrigerator. Isn't this the thing Indiana Jones got in and the Crystal Skull and he apparently survived somehow? A nuclear blast? I want to play this so bad. Okay, so I've got to say this is the creepiest bar I think I've ever been in. I was thinking, I, I don't know how old, like how long ago the problem was. I was thinking a while ago, but I don't know how long. Essentially, this is a brothel, and one of the ladies yeah. died in here, mm -hmm. and then started haunting. A lot of times, I think a feel or experience of haunting is actually through the jukebox, where people will walk in, and the song will just automatically come on. They're not in control of the jukebox. Or it's just like a coincidence that it always, like, like kind of like for example, like it came on and it was like, was it low um, and merry? Yeah, creepy. Right Old songs are so creepy. So right we just we right when we walked in. So. We already had our experience, and I want to leave. Here you guys go. Just pause the video right now. You can read this. Okay, pause it. Let's pause it. You're not gonna have enough time. All right, too late. They've never seen a horse before. <laughs> you guys saw a train, and now you saw a horse. These are so scared. Look at his legs. Zoe, you cool with it? No, oh, she's shaking too. They're both shaking. Well, what did we learn today? Nope. Dogs don't like trains, and the dogs do not like horses at all. Diesel was freaking freaking out. I've never seen a dog freak out that much. I, I kind of got a little freaked, freaked out, out myself because he was shaking so much. It took Allie and I both hugging him to get him to stop. Right. I, mean, I think he's just not used to these noises. I mean, if you think about it, a horse is a freaky animal. We keep getting trapped by horses. Okay. We literally got trapped by a horse over here and a horse over there. Look at her tail, everyone's down. The only one who doesn't care is Marley. It's our first time on Beale Street. When you walk in, it's kind of like going through, like to a show, like the security, like they pat you down, do everything. It's like kind of saying it's like Fourth Street in Austin, Texas. Where's this music, 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 food, food, food. I could barely write my name with spray paint, let alone do some artwork. Look at that one up there. That is insane. There's no way. You know what they look like? Trapper keepers from the 90s. This dude did every one of those trapper keepers. Really does, um, the Just how? how? Alright guys, well we are walking down Beale Street and before I forget, I just wanted to say goodnight. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully we'll get to do the zip line tomorrow. If not, I'm sure we'll find something cool. Have a great night guys. Don't forget Bye, to subscribe guys. and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.